I stomped the living shit out of Wrath. But he's still around. He's not dead. Motherfuckers like me. He just lives and lives and lives. It's annoying. <sighs> when those demons got out, he got out. It's like the power. It's like the power that he that he had. Busted him out. And I hate that he's I hate that he's out. Y'all don't understand. Not on Sakamaro, don't worry. He's not dead, he's still at home. Remember, I don't want to go out to your loved ones. I want to go out to you. I always said it would end in the same way it began. To me, dead. I get it. Yeah, your plan is to try and kill me or drive me crazy or whatever. Look, Raph, I, I won't, like, literally, I am going to stop you, but you just, you just, you just came out in the most inopportune time, and you know you did. You've been trying to, you've been trying to use the fact that Seto died to basically mess with me. And it is working. Like every every day you every day you nod off, I'm just filling you with another nightmare. You know I can do the same to you, you bastard. You could, but would you? Yes, I can. Ugh. What the? No, 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 no. How you feel, man? Yeah, last time we fought, you used to do that to me a lot, but I can do that to you now. How do you feel? You motherfucker. Mm, I'm just a regular fucker, you know? <sighs> you know, Raf, you may think you have the upper hand on me all the time, but you kind of don't. Again, you lack... You lack the basic shit that I have. You may get a, you may go to every other little demon to get yourself a little counter against me, but let's be frank, you're never gonna win. All you have is your usual shit, and now I can just revive people if you try to if you try to hurt them. Ugh. You know I hate how preppy. Hmm, comes with the territory. You know this ain't over. It never is. I thought trapping you in that pocket dimension would end everything, but you know. Still out here, still trying to get me. Still, well, I'm in the process of fucking grieving, you know. Same old shit. Same old shit, different day. How you even know Seto loved you? How you know it wasn't a trick? Because unlike you, who never had, who only had one love, and never got back on the horse because you obviously either killed your Seto or you, or you and your Seto were never that close. But I was. And I was a fool. I should have helped her. I should have done a lot more than just be the opposition. She needed... She really was going to turn over a new leaf. I let her down. 
You'll never know what that's like. You do, but you only know it. You only know it because you think that because you only know that because you lost your younger kids. But at least I at least I was able to save my real though. Yeah, and the boss gives you a fucking mulligan. You want a fucking cookie for that? Oh, did I strike a nerve? Yeah, and the fact that you're friends with the same man who killed who killed Ryoko, our dear, dear half brother Bloody. You know, Lord, you know, Doc Scratch did that. I know. But I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you don't give a fuck because you know you can't beat it. You know you you know that you can't even beat Doc Scratch. Not by yourself. Not the way you are. He'd read your mind so easily because it's so easy to read. You're such a you're a being of pure hatred. And how do you do it? And also, how did you enjoy the how did you enjoy me literally breaking each of your ribs? Today, I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. Pfft. You hit like a bitch. Do I choke like a bitch? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Ew. Trying to spit in my face. You know, that's kind of sick, man. And I think you're. I think all I think all this hatred of me is really turning out to your weird way of foreplay. It's fucking creepy. I hate you. Feelings mutual, buddy. But I already have someone in my hate quadrant. Ugh. Yeah, don't even get me started on you and the whole, you know, you know, pitch quadrant with you and K. Rule. You lead K. Rule out of this. The fact that you have to defend that belly dragger pretty much shows how you actually feel. No, he's my enemy, and that's he's 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 like he's like a rival, you know. He he challenges me, and I challenge him. You are a nemesis. You are an arch nemesis. Big difference there. Besides, I wouldn't want K. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want K. Roll to get jealous. He's the only villain. He's the only villain I gotta fight. You know. You know. If I was really into this whole villain hero dichotomy, I'd probably be jealous. But that's just. I'm not in that weird shit like you are. Eh, I wouldn't call it weird. K. Rool does keep me on my toes. How do you think I'm able to beat you so badly? Quickly, because he's always there. And even if I have to ask him, hey, K. Rool, you mind uh, extending, you know, the fights? I might, you know, I need to train, so could you kind of help me out with that? Ugh. The fact that you're friends with your, with your rival slash other villain kind of makes me sick. Now, a lot of things make you sick. The fact that I'm thriving, I'm surviving, makes you sick. The fact that I'm still moving moving forward with my life while you're still stuck in the past, crying, crying about, crying about things you can't change, and rather than actually move forward with your life and move on, you'll always, you'll always see me, your freaking rear view. going right past you. And then you tried to freaking you started, you started to rattle me about Seto. And I beat you down for that. And I know it hurt because your scars haven't healed. We had the same healing factor but I put a beating on you so hard with the very own with the very crowbar you use to beat me. Oh my and you know, about the crowbar, oh my god, it's so it's so you're so blatant with your joker shit too. It's 
Uh, what, what, what was that supposed to be? Jason Todd? I hate you. Yeah. And what were you and what were you gonna go at were you gonna go get Harley? Bet she'd probably like you. Bet you get a rake you get one of those Harleys that are from the gods and monsters universe, she'd probably like you crazy ass. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> How's it feel? How's it feel knowing that? How's it feel that your Harley will always be with? The, how you how you like it that your Harley is with Poison Ivy? I'm actually proud of her. Yeah, yeah. I kind of wish she was with me, but it's okay. Got enough wives anyway. Having her around would just complicate things, and although I do miss her, her gentle caresses. I still, I still have my Ryoko, so I'm pretty good. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim true. I'm gonna fuck you up, and that's what I do. You think you're stronger, you think you're better, but I'll beat you quickly like you're under the weather. So I'll tell you this: you're gonna kiss my fist now. Idiot, idiot. Hey, Val, you mind helping out? As as Bugsy starts to sing, he's beating the shit out of Raph. You think that you're... You think that you're freaking better than me? Let me tell you a little something about what you could be. A more brutal version. You could be just like me. But you cling to your... Ideals of decency. You could be like me. But you won't set yourself free. Your thing of freedom is basically Joker's anarchy. I'm not really into that shit, even though anarchy's in my genes. But the thing about you and me is, I still have a grip on my freaking mind. Isn't that a trip? You're a fucker, don't you see? And I'm still beating you. Beating you black and blue. Taking you down, doesn't that remind you of every beating that came down? I will keep going at the speed of light. Bugsy starts, Bugsy really does start whooping him at the speed of light. So motherfucker. What are you gonna do? You think it's over. You think it's through. But I'm totally not done with you. You think this is over. Oh no, this is just the beginning. I'll be back soon. This is only the true beginning. So, screw you. I hope you die too. I hate that motherfucker. Yeah, he is an asshole. Hey, Val. Yeah? Wanna go get some ice cream? Sure. Like, is there one open right now? Yeah, there's like a Baskin Robbins near us. Oh, bitchin'. You want to get the others? I don't want to be alone right now. I get you. Don't worry. You won't. You really did love Seto, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, don't worry, man. I mean, for all we know, she might get revived again. You just gotta wait. Yeah, but when she becomes, when she goes back to being evil, and I gotta, <laughs> gotta fight her again, and after everything she told me, it's like, what if she just get, when she goes straight back, like you know, how, you know, how Missy went straight back to being the master after she got regenerated. <laughs> like, what if that happened to like Seno? And what if she just reverts? What the end? Well, do what you do. But this time, you're going to incarcerate her. You're going to be there and try to talk to her again. You know? 
build up that relationship again. Dude, Val, thank you. No problem. Hey, if you ever need just to hang out with me, me and Rhonda, we, we'd be happy to have you over sometime. Really? Mm hmm. We're family. We're family, Bugsy. I'm not gonna just abandon you, okay? And no one. No one in our family is going to abandon you. Even you, Jiro, is worried about you. And that man does not care about anything other than booty. So he is worried about you, too. He is. Yeah. Because, man, we don't like seeing you all just depressed. And we want you to see you happy again. And we want you to know that we're all around and we care about you. You know, for most of us, you're more than a cousin. You're like a, you're like our best friend. Really, Val? Mm-hmm. I mean that. Thank you, man. Come here, dude. Bring it in. It's going to be okay, man. It's just... Grab his back. I miss Seto. I actually miss Seto. Like, shit. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. It's okay. Like, you didn't know if she, if she was legit, and now you know. So if she comes back again, and she tries to do that evil shit, you can persuade her to come back to you. Her and Melly are gonna fight like ca like cats and dogs. Oh, oh, most definitely. You did when you when you when you kind of left Seto, you did kind of go straight to Melly. So yeah, they're gonna be fighting like cats and dogs. So be prepared for that. I don't want to be prepared for that. That's gonna be that's gonna be more drama than I need. <laughs> well, well, hey. It's what is the stuff you play with the whole poly everything. Am I right? Mm. Whew. So what are you gonna get? Eh, I don't know, Rocky Road. You always get Rocky Road. Well, I would go to Ben and Jerry's, but you know, I don't wanna get any Cherry Garcia. It seems just kinda par for the course with me. You know? When I get sad, I just down a fucking like a full tub of Jerry Garcia. <laughs> I remember back in college, you were just chugging it down. You're, you're all like chug, 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 like we were in a the frat and shit. You fucking just chug the whole thing, man. I want you. I do want you to know. Sweet tea is good. I know, right? But like I said, you know, just understand if you need to talk, I'm here. You know, your bros are back. Everybody, want, if you need to talk to anybody, we're all here. Just don't try to revive Seto before it's time. She'll come back. She always does. I'm not gonna be that desperate. That's like something. That's like something, uh. Count Bugsy or Black Count Bugsy would do. I mean, couldn't you just easily run out? Yeah, but you know, Grant's ain't gonna tell me where. How to. Grant's ain't gonna tell me where she's at. True. She he probably won't. So um, you know, what are you gonna do? Let's take care, of, take care of the thorn in my side known as Raf Kuro, and then go, then you know, hang out with you guys for like 
Yeah, tomorrow. Oh yeah, X Men's tomorrow. Are you ready for the Are you ready for the season finale? Does this Does this ring any bells? Done. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I keep hearing that these grifters keep saying that X Men ninety seven is failing. I uh, don't listen to those fuckers. They don't know shit about shit. Honestly, me and the boss were talking about it the other day. Like these people just do the shit for a paycheck. That's all it is. They don't care about the actual show. They'll jump on it because it's popular. They'll jump on it because they know people are going to like it. People are going to watch it. And people really do like it. And they're trying to bank on that. That's just how it is. That's fucking dumb. Yeah, but it's the life they live. When when you live without no creativity and nothing to show for yourself, that's all you have. You're angry, you're rage, and a bottle of milk. That's how you know it's milk. <laughs> Again, I don't. But probably it isn't. <laughs> Thanks. You have no problem, dude. Now let's go get now let's go get that freaking ice cream. Before they close. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go. Um Get a grab you go. Ah no, I got no I got my I'm using my divine divinity to keep myself warm. So you can just, like, call it out whenever you want. Yeah, basically. That's, that's fucking cool. I know, right? Wish I made an, mate, wish I made a contract with him and free, with him and freeze. That shit would've been awesome. Well, that's not as glamorous as it sounds. But, you know. The Afreed I made a pack with is pretty nice. He doesn't like to say that he's nice, but he is. But yeah, let's go, man. Ending transmission. Ending transmission with the great and legendary Bugsy Prime. See what I did there? Thanks. Again, no problem. <laughs>